really mark this moment. Look around, trust the people that you've got your arms around because you've got something special. Our superpower is that unity and that spirit and enthusiasm. If we band together like the sisters that you guys have become, nothing's going to get in the way. And we're going to look back on this moment here as starting our journey for season seven to, to greatness. first for the groundbreaking NAB AFLW competition, Alberton Oval, the 142 year spiritual home of the Port Adelaide Football Club today, hosts its first ever AFLW clash, a capacity crowd of 6,000 expected as the power hosts the Western Bulldogs. The Dogs with a confidence boosting win over the Giants last week. Yeah, absolutely. They were really challenged by the Giants last week and they found a way to win. Looking forward to see what they bring as are the 20 Victorians that are in the grandstand today supporting the Western Bulldogs. A challenge today Regardless of everything else that's going on, 6,000 people, songs being played, a lot of cheer and all that sort of stuff, our challenge is to do us. Between now and when we go out, I want you to upbeat, I want you to think about how we work together as a team. But I know you will. I absolutely know you will. I can feel it in my chest and I can see it in everyone's eyes that we're going to play our game today and we're going to be the ones in control, so let's go. This <laughs> on the Western Bulldogs. Great to have you company wherever you are watching. Edmonds up in the ruck early for the Dogs and almost won the clearance except that came down the Lambs. No one's essentially in front of her. The kick though was smothered off the boot. If that kick connected properly, it would have been a foot race going back to goal. Michelle Cranston kicked a terrific goal last week. Goal of the week nominee. And she has the first goal of the game in Alberton. Rocky Cranston right to the top of the goal square and Hatton pounces and squeezes it in. Calling for the stretcher here, and Ellie Blackburn goes to her teammate. Really horrible scenes, isn't it, guys? You always fear the worst uh, in moments like this. That Deport see this as an opportunity to capitalise, maybe on the Western Bulldogs dropping their head out of the game, or do the Dogs actually uh, regroup, uh, refocus, and they go again? Right, elephant in the room. Okay, it's it's an emotional time. All I'm going to say is the last thing Brett said before I took her away. I'll do the right thing by Brett. Okay, you listen to what she said. Yeah. Here we go. The ball and a string all day. Up towards uh, board. Cranston pounced on it. Puts it towards the advantage of Blackburn. Has a good look at the goals. Moody has an even better look at the goals. And she will pop it through. Oh, 10 seconds off the game. They've been stingy, this Bulldogs defence. In this final quarter, they have not allowed Port Adelaide an inside 50 in this last quarter. And they get the job done and spoil Port Adelaide's first game at Alberton. Obviously everyone was pretty emotional, um, had a fair chunk of downtime in the middle of a game which we've obviously never been through before but you know credit to the girls, um, we rallied around each other. Brittany's last words were, were tell them to win and, and they did so she'll be pleased with that. She was up and walking in the hallway not long after surgery so she's in good spirits and, and she's got a long journey ahead but as I said we're going to support her as much as we can. <laughs> 